Good morning guys, this is Sana with Abundance Rising Family. Me and the kids are on our way on an adventure today to get some produce. So I wanted to share, especially with my local friends here, a place that we go to in San Antonio called River City Produce. They're open to the public, but they are a produce distribution center. They distribute mostly through all of the HEBs here in Texas. Um, and they've got some really great sales today. So come along with us. I'll show you what happens out there, how we get our produce. And day to day, their prices change, and today it's worth the trip. It'll take us about an hour to get there. So come on, and I'll show you what's up. <coughs> wow, guys, we just arrived. After spending the last hour jamming out to worship in the car, um, we made it to River City Produce, and the parking lot is packed. I'm currently waiting for a place to park. I think with the price of groceries nowadays, people are looking for alternatives, and River City is definitely cheaper than the grocery store um, by a lot. So it looks like this has become a popular spot. This is what the building looks like when you pull up. That's their door. You stand in line against that wall. Their parking lot is just absolutely packed right now. you come in you stand on this wall they hand you a clipboard uh, with today's deals on it you check off what you want and you keep waiting and they go inside and pack it all up for you hi Joseph all right so you come and you stand in line along the wall you a list of everything that's on sale for the price so the price is on there and what it is I'm gonna show you guys what I get and how we pick it up but you just fill out and mark what you want and they come back and they pick this up um, they gather it all for you inside and then they bring you in to check everything before you pay for it. We've been standing in line easily 40 minutes, maybe 35 to 40 minutes. They just came out and gave all of the kids bananas. Look. It's like, hey, are these your kids? Do you want to feed them while you wait? <laughs> Look at me. I've been waiting so long, my hair's gone crazy. Do they taste good, guys? Are they pretty kind to you here? parking lot we're at that brown van that big brown van so once you pay and you can show that you paid they help you pack all your stuff out to the car and load it in for you guys stay right with me come on head into the van to load up the produce believe me it's worth the drive it's worth the wait I'll show you all what I bought today so my total bill today was $95 I'm gonna show you what I got for $95 I got five pounds of lemons. I got two cases of blackberries. Let's see, there's 12 clamshells in each case, and I got two. I got mm, 10 pounds. I believe it was 10 pounds of Honeycrisp apples. I got 12 one pound bags of those mini sweet peppers. I got 12 one pound bags of the miniature cucumbers. My kids love snacking on these. I got a case of tangerines, a case of pears. I believe those are 10 pound cases. I got 12 heads of cauliflower. Look at them. Not a mark on them. Sometimes they might have a tiny bit of brown, but at that point their prices are usually dropped really low to make it worth it. I think it was $8 today for 12 heads of cauliflower. My kids love cauliflower, but at HEB, it's just too expensive. I got 50 pounds of cabbage and I got 50 pounds of juicing carrots. So I'm gonna have to ask you guys to forgive me for the crazy scattered video of me inside River City by juggling the kids and a handful of bananas and banana peels and uh, trying to check my order and everything. It was kind of difficult to also hold my phone and try to record the inside. But a basic rundown is um, you go and you stand at the, a 
against the wall, which that's new. You used to go inside the building, but since COVID, they had everybody wait outside until they got your order ready. They come out, they hand you a clipboard. You check off what you want, you put your name on it. Um, they take the clipboard inside, they gather all of your stuff onto these carts, and then they call you inside the building, and they have you look over everything, make sure that you're happy with the product. Just because you checked it off on your clipboard doesn't mean you have to keep it. Today, while I was in line waiting, they ran out of blueberries, so I wasn't able to get my blueberry order. But they had everything else, and it was wonderful. So, I looked over everything, said it's good, I want everything that's here. They give you your piece of paper, they send you through a different door to a cashier, where she will write up everything, have you pay for it, give you your receipt. You take your receipt back into the refrigerated room, and it is cold in there. <laughs> Um, you hand it to a gentleman who helps you carry your stuff out to the car. They load it in the car for you, and off you go. And you have an insane amount of produce. So in the summertime, I make gobs of strawberry jam, cherry jam. I'll even do blueberry butter. Um, I've been known to do apple butter, apple sauce when things get really cheap. So I'm always watching for their crazy, crazy good deals. And whatever they have on sale, if I go down there and I pick it up, I can can, I can freeze, I can dehydrate, I can preserve a lot of this stuff. Now with a family our size, the majority of it just gets eaten. But I don't feel bad if some of it even goes bad because if it starts to get a little too old for human consumption, we always have the pigs and the chickens and the cows and there's always something that's gonna eat it. So it is 100% worth our drive. I cannot go into HEB and buy cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, um, and a bag of chips for under $100. You know, and we produce our own meat. So even if we're making hamburgers, it's, un it's over 100 bucks, and I'm not even buying the bread or the meat. So the drive out there and to spend $100 for this to be able to feed us all week long or even into next week, I just feel like it's a massive savings for our family. And really, it just can't be beat. You can go to farmer's markets. You can, we grow a lot of our own in the garden as well, but this time of year, nothing is producing in the garden. It's too early. So this is a wonderful way for us to get good, healthy food into the kids on a budget. In fact, I really don't shop at the grocery store very often anymore. We produce all of our own dairy products. Um, we produce most of our meat. We do all of our own eggs and I tend to either grow our produce or buy it from 